Scientist Sanjay Mehra has created a computer from which he sends variations of the syllable Om into space, hoping to attract extraterrestrial life. When he believes he has finally received a response, the scientific community ridicules him. While Sanjay is driving home, frustrated, an alien spacecraft appears overhead. He drives off the road and the car explodes, killing him. His pregnant wife, Sonia Mehra, is injured but survives. Their son, Rohit Mehra, is born with a developmental disability. Sonia learns that surgery is the only cure for Rohit's disability. But it could paralyze or kill him. Not wanting to lose her son, she raises him in Kasoli. A young woman, Nisha Saluja, arrives and is initially antagonistic to Rohit because of his childish practical jokes against her. Her friend, Raj Saxena, and his four friends attack Rohit and break his kick scooter. Sonia chides them for assaulting Rohit, saying that he did not intentionally make fun of Nisha. Rather he was trying to apologize to her. Realizing her mistake, Nisha gives Rohit a bicycle and introduces him to her parents, who are sympathetic to him. Rohit and Nisha, now friends, find Sanjay's old computer. He messes with the notes, which signals the aliens. And a few moments later the power goes out. And an extraterrestrial mothership hovers above the ground. The ship leaves hastily, accidentally leaving a group member behind. Rohit, Nisha, his young friends, and Sonia befriend the alien, naming him Jadu and discovering his psychokinetic abilities. Raj resents Nisha's closeness to Rohit, bullying him and spreading a rumor that Raj and Nisha are getting married. The rumor upsets Nisha and Rohit, who is hurt because he thought Nisha was his girlfriend. Jadu discovers that Rohit is disabled and uses his powers, derived from sunlight, to enhance Rohit's mental and intellectual ability. The next morning, Rohit has clear vision. A 7th standard student, he later solves an oral 10th standard mathematics problem, surprising his mathematics teacher and his school principal. Rohit's physical abilities increase to superhuman levels. Raj and his friends challenge Rohit and his friends to a basketball game. Rohit scores several baskets, and Raj and his friends begin to cheat, with the kids being unable to jump high. At the end of the first half, the total is 49-6. to 6. With Raj's team winning, Rohit then realizes that the kids are not flying because Jadu relies on the sun to energize his magic and it's cloudy. When the sun comes out, Jadu helps Rohit and his friends win the game. Rohit tells Nisha that he loves her, and she returns his affection. Raj's friends confront Rohit's friends about the basketball game. Rohit's friends flee, dropping Jadu. Constable Chelaram Sukhvini sees Jadu in a bag and calls for backup. Led by Inspector Khurshid Khan, they capture the bag. However, Rohit rescues Jadu, confronted by Raj and his friends. An angry Rohit overpowers them and the policemen arrive. Jadu is not in the bag. He had escaped when Chelaram was calling the other police officers. Khurshid, suspicious of Rohit, confronts him at his house with other officers. The police seize Jadu and knock Rohit out. When he regains consciousness, Rohit catches up to the police cars in time to save Jadu from being sent to the United States. The flying saucer which he had summoned with his father's computer returns. And Rohit bids a sad farewell to Jadu. When Jadu leaves, Rohit reverts to his old self. This saves him from prosecution by the government, who congratulate him for his actions. Raj and his friends later harass Rohit. Challenging him to kick a ball to them. Rohit angrily kicks the ball into Raj's face after Jadu permanently returns his superpowers. Rohit and Nisha thank Jadu. And get married.